Hello everyone, welcome to my place. I'd like to give a shout out to Denise because I already had last week's special talk on Sunday and I was going to make three or four videos off of that and she wanted me to look at Stephen Lett talk and it was a mind-blowing one so I gotta make a video on it so thank you Denise so this talk has started off is God gave us five different senses you know your eyes your touch and all of that and I think it's five but anyway um, the ears is what's going to help you to get into Jehovah's kingdom your ears alone because you have to understand the uh, teaching of the governing body the teaching of the watchtower to gain eternal life But here's the problem. <clears throat> you have Jehovah's Witnesses and the rest of the world don't know in a sense your homes, your town, this earth is burning in flames by the governing body placing gas chemicals explosive chemicals around your neighborhood your homes your house is on flames your town is on flames now I want you to ponder on that and then I will explain after you hear his talk so enjoy if you can stomach it and then after that I will explain what I just said thank you if you measure out little interest and attention don't expect to gain much. Uh, in contrast, if you measure out your full attention and interest to what I am saying, then I will give you generously, even beyond your expectations. Well, it works the same way today, doesn't it? We actually reap enlightenment in direct proportion to how much interest and attention we measure out. Uh, go to Hebrews chapter 2. Here's another scripture. Very familiar scripture in this regard. Hebrews chapter 2, and notice we, we're not to just pay casual attention or even usual attention, but notice how it's worded. Hebrews 2 verse 1, that is why it is necessary for us to pay more than the usual attention to the things we have heard so that we never drift away. So it's absolutely required if we're not going to drift away from Jehovah or the truth, We've got to pay more than the usual attention. Now, let's illustrate this point. I'd like you to imagine that you're trapped in a building that is engulfed in fire. A fireman makes his way to you. And he says, I only have time to tell you this once. I've got to go help other people. But there's only one way to escape. You've got to go down the stairs very quickly. When you get to the bottom, drop down on your stomach and begin crawling. You have to stay within three feet of the floor because above that there are poisonous gases. Uh, crawl, though, to the right and you will see a small hallway or narrow hallway. Crawl through that hallway. When you get to the end, you'll be in the lobby. Stand up, turn left, run out the exit doors. Now, while those instructions were being given, would you allow your mind to wander? 
would you be thinking? I wonder what I'll have for supper tonight. I wonder what I'll be on TV. No, your attention would be riveted because one missed detail could cost you your life. And even after the farmer left, you probably would still hear ringing in your ears his words as you reviewed them in your mind. See, uh, down the stairs, crawl through the hallway, uh, go out the left of the lobby through the exit doors. You'd be reviewing that information with the idea you were truly going to make application. Well, that's how we want to listen. And if you think about it, we're in a similar situation, aren't we? Satan's world is on fire around us. And very soon it's going to totally burn up. But Jehovah is giving us escape instructions. In fact, in 2 Peter 3.12 about this system, it says that it's going to be destroyed in flames and the elements will melt in the intense heat. But we want to survive. We don't even slightly want to be like the idols mentioned in Psalm 115 verse 6 who have ears but they don't hear or like the cobra mentioned in Psalm 58 4 that stops up its ears and refuses to hear the voice of the charmer or like the disobedient Israelites described in Isaiah 6 10 as having unresponsive ears or those disobedient Israelites are described in Jeremiah 6 10 in the literal Hebrew, as having uncircumcised ears. Uh, we don't even want to be like the Hebrew Christians who are described in Hebrews chapter 5, verse 11, as being dull in their hearing. Uh, we want to do our very best to uncover our ear. Now, that's an interesting expression in the literal Hebrew in Job 36, verse 10. And apparently it comes from the fact that the Orientals wore a headdress, but to hear more clearly, they would partially remove uh, that uh, headdress and uncover the ear. Well, we want to do that ourselves. We want to incline our ear. Psalm 78 verse 1, awaken our ear, open our ear, give ear, as different verses in Isaiah say. And all of that is pay attention with a view of making application of what we have heard. Now, if we do this, use our sense of hearing wisely, as we've discussed, then we'll be in position to survive the... Okay, you heard what he was talking about, a fireman. Try and get you out of the house by listening to his voice. Follow his directions to the T. You don't want to be thinking about what you're going to eat, what you're going to do later on, because your life is in danger. And while you're crawling on the floor, make sure you don't raise your head into the poison gases. Okay, the poison gases exactly is watchtowers lies, false prophecies, and covering up child molesting. I mean, it's, it's so thick in your town, your houses. That watchtower is trying to lead you out without smelling the damage they have done. So when you get out, of your burning house, they they gonna take the credit that somebody else started the fire to bring you back into their religion, making you believe that they was the ones who saved your life and were actually. The whole world is being burning in a sense that everyone is is dying in these poison gas of the lies of Watchtower when the government body set the f everything on fire. 
and he mentioned that um different ways of uh opening your ears up by not comparing yourself to to the jews and all of that that part what pissed me off we know the jews did not want to hear the prophets and even all the way up to christ but the problem was the ones that was more controlling in Christ's time it was the scribes and the Pharisees almost like the elders and the circuit overseers and the governing body of course the, there's a lot of people believed him but not all Jews rejected Christ or the disciples but watchtower has the nerve in this se segment of this talk that the Jews are bad people and there is no salvation through them it's only salvation through the watchtower Jehovah's Witnesses but the Bible teaches a different thing in the Bible I read even in their polluted book what they call Bible I found the truth about the Jewish people was never will be rejected in the future so I know you're gonna be a person that come on here and says oh God chose the Gentiles over the Jews no he didn't he grafted you in the tree of the Jewish people he grafted you in the tree it never said that he grafted a Jew in the Gentile tree it says in there when one of them fall off the tree and basically if, when they wake up he grafts them back into the tree of the Jewish people now if you want to call the Bible a lie that is your choice but this nonsense to tell people who's watching this video that if you don't hear what the going body is telling you you're gonna be doomed no people you are doomed when you open up the door to these people you are doomed when you start having a Bible study with these people you are doomed going to the meetings and you later on get baptized to be a publisher for a publishing company and then you are doomed because you fell into a false religion trap just like the Jewish people when they abandoned God to serve other false gods so you abandoned God was because you wasn't seeking him when you was reading the Bible you rely on two people who came to your door twist scriptures to make you think that you don't know nothing they know everything well, I'm telling you right now I had one guy accuse me I have hatred we all have hatred because we lost so much of our life energy in this false religion and when people come on and try to call us liars and everything we have the right to throw a few words at them because you don't 
talk nice to these people so many times and then it's nothing but aggravation just to hear their nonsense so sometimes you have to throw harsh words to shake them up and I do that sometimes I use it verse psychology to um, make them look like fools just like one of them basically was making me look stupid and I agree, I agree I do look stupid but at least my stupid got me out of this false religion And then I turn around, basically, what about you? You're still in. So sometimes I make him, I make him turn around to make them look like the ignorant person. People, the ears you need to hear it's my voice. It's Jehovah Witnesses' voices. We are the ones that came out of this corrupt religion. We're not the one printing magazines all over the years, over a hundred something years, and been lying to people under two different names Bible students. And Jehovah Witnesses. We just uncovered all the lies and the corruptness and despicable false prophecies Watchtower has made over the years. None of it ever came true. And when I was watching Color girl, when she was turning the light switch on, the light switch off, I made a comment because I thought of something. That'd be like the governing body playing a, a game whose turn it is to flip the swat, light switch on and off. So they picked one of them, say Stephen Lett, since there's his video we were watching and let's say he was given the privilege with the new light switch because you know we have to assume every time they're going to use the new, the new light theory they have to change the light bulb and put a new light bulb so that would be called new light so while the other gun bodies they all talk about using a new light because the old one, they're being busted on it. So while they cut, try to make a new light, with a new lie, and they say, okay, we got it. And I was saying, Stephen Lett, turn the, the light on, off and on, off and on, off and on. And uh, all the gun lights, oh, Jehovah is blessing us. He's giving us new light. And all they're doing is just throwing the switch on and off. You know, I almost couldn't believe that. So people, you don't want to hear, don't want to open your ears to the lies of the watchtower. You don't want to be the ones that thinking that you're in the truth and these men are the ones it's like a fireman by listen to their voice they get you out on safety and when they're the ones it's actually set your house your town and this world up in flames of all their past present and future predictions to, to, 
to destroy people's lives. So I beg you, close your ears to the nonsense. Close your ears to the elders, the governing body, and let your mind search the real truth. And stop the fire yourself. You have the power of the internet. You can stop the flames that the watchtower started in your house, in you, your town, your country. And it's called the internet. So you have the power to stop this burning, flaming, torturing of this false religion. If you want to live like we did in this burning, torturing false religion, you're welcome to it. And maybe one day you will believe us. And you say, would say, I wish I'd listened to them. I wasted my time, my energy, like they did. So thank you for watching. And y'all have a wonderful day. Cataclysmic end of this system of things. As